What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 99 of Smack Talk here at SmartOutMoment.com. Who knows if it's going to be on YouTube.com slash SmartOutMoment, because all you need to do is get flagged for some stupid idiots, and they'll take down your whole channel. Rest in peace, fanboys anonymous. As always, I am your host, Tony Mango. With me on the mic this evening, we have Miguel Leon and Mike Payton. Apparently, we also have Tony Mango's grievances on the mic as well. Yes, we do. Fuck YouTube. And <laughs> <laughs> I deserved it. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right. What we're going to do is we're going to run down the Ask Him, the hot tags. We're going to do a little bit of a break and scramble around everything in part three. And then we're going to round this episode out with the specialty feature of the week which is looking back on the tournament that just ended on SmartCoutMoment.com. Who is the best Grand Slam champion in WWE history? And you guys all voted, so we'll tell you who won that, if you haven't checked out the results already, and talk about who we think should have won it, if we disagree, or, you know, so on and so forth. First things first, though, we have to do the Ask Him, and since I asked the Ask Him last week, which, by the way, was... About Daniel Bryan's theme song from when he was in Ring of Honor and the Independence. What did he use? And I said something that people caught me out on. All right. Technically, the answer does start with a T instead of an F. If you're talking about the. But I was using the ignore the the rule. So, uh, who got it right? Uh, Watchman King 67. Awesome Piano Man. Jamie O'Halloran. Thomas Sander, who deserves his shirt. (laughs) Apparently there's a big movement for it. Sign me up initiative and give Thomas Sander his shirt initiative. Um, I Curry and Designer Metal One. Half credit to Rose's show because he got the name of the song but not the artist. And it was The Final Countdown by Europe. One of my favorite songs ever because this song is awesome and how horrible it is. Yeah, it, it, it definitely falls into the so bad it's good category. It's so catchy though, and you can't I, you can't listen I, to that beginning of that and not get pumped up. I just think it's awesome. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. So many uh, people lyrics, try to it's, like. It's, it's no sweet victory, and it's no man called Sting. So it's pretty <laughs> awesome. Oh, man called Sting! That the, the original St- uh, Sting theme from the uh, the original Crow Sting theme. That that song is awesome. I don't know. A lot better than man called Sting is outro called Sting <laughs> <laughs> from last week. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's who got it right last week. No scorn whatsoever, um, only for Google executives for me this week, because fuck them. Uh, and I love you guys. <laughs> so this week, since there's no Burhan and he is asleep or something, and, or trying to avoid the uh, Thomas Sanders shirt initiative, <laughs> whatever it is, the Ask Him's going to Mike Payton. So who do you, uh, not who do you, what do you have for this week? Well, this week I have a delectable dish. It's, oh, um, my question as you guys know, is two parts. First, I'm going to ask the people who are here on the show, and they have to answer that question, which will lead into a second question, which will be for you guys to answer in the comments below, or maybe via email or Facebook if the YouTube channel gets taken down. Yeah, it's going to be a running (laughs) joke tonight. So first, I have a question for Mr. Anthony and Mr. Miguel here. This city is known for being the city to host the most Monday Night Raws ever. What is this? We know it's not Sioux City, uh, Iowa. (laughs) Bizarro World. Hmm, I'm going to go with... No, you know what? I'm not going to go with that one. I'm going to go with Philadelphia. Even though it's probably wrong. Are you guys serious? Hmm, I'm going to go with New York. It's New New York. York. Absolutely New York. I mean, you got to consider that it aired exclusively at a New York City for a period of time, not to mention all the times they've been back there since. Yeah, the Manhattan Center was their original uh, home base for for the first few, uh, was it months or just weeks of Monday Night Raw? They they pretty much stayed focused around New York City for the first few years of Raw, which which actually leads me to my second part of the question. And this one will be for everyone listening. So this is your chance to shine. This city is known for being the city to host the second most amount of Monday Night Raws. So right under New York City, this city is known for being the host to the second most Monday Night Raws. And it's not Sioux City. It's not Sioux City. <laughs> so everybody... and, I, and I'll break it down for you guys. 
It's not Chicago, and it's not Montreal. Oh. Uh, well, there, there goes my second guess. <laughs> I was going to go with Chicago. Um, if you guys have the right answer to this, or you think you do, go ahead and leave that comment or that video response. Or You know, YouTube even took that down, didn't they? They don't have uh, video responses anymore, right? I don't know if that went into effect yet, but yeah, that is something that's Jesus, either happened or going to be happening. Horrible, aren't they? Yay, what, 15 YouTube is YouTube isn't allowing for uh, comments anymore? No, video responses. Oh, okay. If they got but, rid of comments completely, that might be a blessing. <laughs> Maybe. I'll at least stop getting all the fuck you things uh, from people. But anyway. Well, you are anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, if you want to leave your answer for this week, go ahead and leave that in the comment or send us a tweet as a backup. (laughs) And we'll tell you who got it right next week on episode 100. We're going to roll along here and move on to the weekly news and wrestling with the hot tags in part two.